Hi everyone, my name's Tom. In this video I'm going to break down the best games on Steam using the gyro controls on the Nintendo Pro Controller. Some of these games work as well with the Sony DualSense controller, but today I'm just going to focus on the Pro Controller because it works on everything and it's the most universal controller I've found. My settings that I use in these games and these settings may well help you get used to the gyroscopic aiming. Uh, so one thing to point out that you will find with Steam is that you have to change some of the bindings before, especially when you first play a game. Now one thing I always do, it will actually default, usually, unless it's supported by the Pro Controller, which is quite rare in, in that particular game. Um, it, you will find it will default to the Xbox layout. So on the Pro Controller, it's all a bit backwards to the Xbox layout, but basically A and B will be flipped and it will just be like it is on the Xbox. I find myself coming in here and swapping it uh, to potentially, so A is actually A where the Nintendo is, which is actually where say circle would be, or where B would be on the Xbox. But you can do this to whatever you prefer. If you prefer it like the Xbox, of course, you can keep it like that. Um, and so that's what I do quite like about this. There is a complete universal uh, way of making this work. Now, the one thing I will use universally across all of these games, and I'll just break it down now on here, is the you go to can manage controller settings on the actual game itself with the Pro Controller. Now, I don't really change anything about these settings other than we invert the vertical axis uh, on the gyroscopic, and that is literally it, nothing else. Now, on the Sony DualSense, I do have to do a little bit of changing, uh, just purely because I've been used to this Pro Controller from playing Splatoon 2 and Nintendo Switch, uh, and I wanted the DualSense to feel like that because uh, as an out-the-box, the DualSense gyroscopic aiming is a little bit slower. Camera speed, we've got 70, 70, 50, and I kind of, graphics, I think we're pretty much maxed out. On. Should be. Graphics quality normal. Do that. Should be. I didn't realize we weren't on high. Ship nearing your position. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, the gyro feels really good with the sniper there. stylish this game is. It's platinum though, I guess, so what do you expect? Suits overheating. Yeah, this is a great game, especially games like this. If you want to learn the gyro, this is the kind of thing I'd recommend. This is why I've got this first on the list. Purely because of just how uh, it's very forgiving. The controls are very nice. Nice and quick. And it's a good action shooter. Next one, Cyberpunk. I actually really enjoyed this game. If you want to check out my playthrough, which I did use my gyro controls in this, uh, please check it out. It's on my channel. I'll put the link again probably in the description for this. I tried really hard in this and it hasn't got many views, so I'd be appreciate anyone that goes wants to go and check out. I did play quite um, quite extensively, so I'll go and show you my controls. So I did have to play around with this. Uh, I know the defaults weren't that nice with the gyro aiming, it was quite clunky and it took me a little while to figure it out. Uh, so, what have we got here? Outer, inner dead zone 0, outer dead zone 0 0.9. First person camera mouse, 0 sensitivity, but 5 on the sensitivity on the mouse there. And then in third person camera, I got it on 3. Uh, and then first person camera controller, 32 uh, and 16. And I haven't got it inverted on here because I think I believe I've got it inverted on actual Steam. You can do it either way, but I think I just did it on Steam and then I never changed it. Uh, response curve recommended. Everything else is on zero. Uh, I think this is what it had. It had some of these 
ramping, ramp up time and ramp up bonus. So I don't like any of that. So turn that off. And third person camera on 26 and 10. And I'm recommended as well. Let's be honest, it's probably just as well. Alright. Let's take out this crew down now. Hi friends. What's a grenade? Yeah. I have a grenade. Wow. <laughs> oh, grenade. This game still looks really good. I completely forgot how good this looks. Wow. I've got ray tracing on, but I don't think I've got any of the lighting or anything like that. It's just ray tracing on. Um. Yeah, someone just wrecked me behind me. Hack me and it's hurting me. Enjoy my life in this game. Oh man, the hacking. Please stop. Land ho! Yes, land ho. Stop! It's you hacking me. Whoop! So let's go. No, I really enjoyed this game on uh, on PC. It's one of the first games I got on Steam, and uh, I first played it without using the gyroscopic game. Found it very difficult. Uh, played it again when I learnt gyro controls and it was a completely different experience. Really enjoyed it. Really good. Let's use these, uh, let's use this grenade launcher and then we'll get one in a I just died doing this, so let's um, actually get this guy. Oh, no. oh, I sit dead. Oh no, we're not. Come on. No. for once. If you put, you to kind of move differently. Move differently in this. I should have just got him anyway. Thanks, man. Oh. Bullets. Out of ammo, friend. Oh, probably just as well. 
Let's land here. Hold on tight. It's time to drop shock and rock. Shields of recharge. I'm low. Reloading. Oh. Throwing thermite. Air tank. Sight. Oscar Mike. I'm sorry. Oh. Nice. Well played. Strong work. Finish the last of that enemy squad. Oh, nice. Ah, I didn't even do anything. These guys just carried me the entire way. I just supported. Alright, well played. The Apex Champions. <laughs> uh, so my here I have it on very high on the look sensitivity. And then we have the aim down sight we have on the high. This is classic. Movement dead zone small. And then that's pretty much it. Having it inverted. Other than that, it's pretty much Okay, thought we'd do a bit of Rainbow Six next. We're defending this time, which is rare. I've been wanting to do this for ages. I want to use. I, want, I need to practice really with this MP5. Um, I need to get it set up. Really, it's not probably in the best, um, the best setup with what I've got on it at the minute. But it's okay. Let's barricade this. Good playlist of Apex on my channel. You have to go and uh, you have to go and check out some of that because I had some good moments in there and. Uh, I'm trying really hard on uh, getting some good footage, but Apex is a very hard game. Very, very hard game. Okay, don't, don't wreck the hostage. We need him in good conditions. Oh, I do like this gun. I feel like I've got it probably best set up for me, but... Well, this hostage is certainly strong. He's taken all the bullets. I guess because we've got this sofa and we've got the pimp sofa going on. If only it killed online players as quick. Sometimes it does, and other times it really doesn't. Wow, nice. We'll quickly just show you my controls on this game. What do we have? Mouse sensitivity on 30, 30. I don't know if that does anything uh, with the gyro. I don't think it's affected. It's the controller settings that still affect the gyro speed. And so what we've got, vertical sensitivity on 27, horizontal on 32, left stick dead zone on 5, uh, controller rotation on classic, aim assist is enabled, it's not that, it's not too strong on this, it's quite nice. Uh, and that's... Okie dokie. So this is the thing I also found with this game, uh, that the drone can't be controlled by the, uh, I did have this in my other video, the drone can't be controlled by uh, the the joysticks, only the left joystick, you can't turn it, so you actually have to use the gyro if you want to play with a controller uh, on PC. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. Now we're doomed, friend. Uh-huh. I'm locked and loaded. Where? Where you going, motherfucker? Where is he? What happened to your face? Ready? Bit idiot, and the, and the body's uh, floating. I don't know what's going on. There. Hey, hey, there we go. Let's do it. How's that feel? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna kill you. Huh? Got it. Ah, oh, thought headshot. I need a 
So this game, this is hands down the best game, actually one of the best games I've ever played, but easily the best game I've played for gyro controls. Uh, we have aim assist that you normally get with the controller on PC, on as well as on what the consoles get, I get it on PC with Steam using a controller. And I can also have the added benefit of using the gyro in this, uh, which is great. So I already get like the sort of the aim assist, which is actually locks on in this. And all I have to then do is focus with the gyro to actually get the headshot or body shot or anything. And it works really well. It uh, really gives a great feeling of like, being a gunslinger in this. Now, I'll just show you my settings. Uh, I believe everything is kind of on, on high, really. Everything as high as it will go on the controller. So, um, yeah, there we go. Aim assist on foot. Everything's on normal. I think you can change the lock-on mode. Some people recommend wide. I've not tried that. I just keep it on normal. Uh, pin switching, third person control standard. We've got the field of view on the higher setting. That's looking very picturesque on this. This is my favourite game. I'm also streaming this over on Twitch and at Beat Kipling. Uh, so you have to come and check me out over there if you want to come and see me and chat to me live. That'd be quite fun. I did give streaming a go on YouTube, but it's a bit hit and miss. Uh, I probably did better off than I do on Twitch, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's get the repeater up. So the gyro in this, I've got it quite slow, really. The gyro is very... Uh, oh, it's because I'm aiming on someone. Yeah, I've got it, you know, so it's it's generally quite, again, quite relative to my other games. Left and right's quite strong there. But it's, you know, that's kind of how I have it. I actually used the PlayStation 5 controller with this game uh, recently. It doesn't really make a difference. Let me get the dynamo out. Let's get the dynamo out. Throw some dynamite over there. I don't know where he is, somewhere. Nowhere near it, are we? We way missed it. So like right here, anytime you see me lifting up like that is me using the gyro to lift up and aim for the headshot. And again, and it works fantastic. Really, really feels great in this. So we have like the aim assist. And then all I have to do... We, oh, we've got a barrel next to it. Shoot the barrel. All we have to do is lift up the aim a bit and try and aim for the head. Sometimes it can get a bit wobbly. And get very hard to aim, especially long distances. It counts a lot harder, but no, it's good fun. I uh, really enjoy this game. Really comes alive. Uh, some of the PC people get upset with me. Um, I think I'm cheating. Call me a hacker and all the rest of it. Oh, Go in front of me. There he is. Because uh, it is, it is very strong aim assist but you still have to do quite a lot of aiming to get the headshot or get the kill really there we go beautiful stuff though i really do enjoy this game it's absolutely stunning there's a bit of dead eye for dead eye as well it's absolutely fantastic like that i can just paint the target shoot his hat off and, oh and again there we go Quite confidently, I could at least, I can't per se always get the timing right, but I can usually always at least get the scope over the head. So the Dead Eyes works as a great tool for me as well, using the Paint It Black. Now, there's a lot of ways you can make this game feel different, but I like to keep it quite traditional, Red Dead, and I use the Paint It Black online. That's uh, a really good fun ability for me. And if I didn't have that, it wouldn't probably feel like Red Dead, if I'm honest. Um... It's a bit like having VATS and Fallout. It's kind of a very much a unique built-in aim system. Love it. Got another one to blow up. If you've, if you've watched this video, I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's, uh, it means a lot to me, and I'm trying to get the channel to grow, and I'm very pleased with how the channel has been growing. Um, but no, it's uh, any new followers, I always appreciate if you subscribe so you don't miss out any new content that I create. Um, I'm trying to make videos every week. 
Um, I'm trying to at the minute think of different videos I can do and I've got a few ideas I just need to actually get out and film them so like this one it's actually taken me a long time to film this one and put it all together but hopefully it all comes out quite nice and I'm trying not to make them too long either because I appreciate people people don't watch all of them so no thank you very much for watching please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more bye